Let's cover some soft jerk bait tips that are just gonna elevate your fishing to that next level. I've got four of them here, and number three is one that's gonna really surprise you. First is keep an eye out for those bait fish, for those small pan fish that just happen to be out there roaming around, apparently in the middle of the lake, and just slowly waking right there below the surface. You can look at that fish and be thinking, what are you doing? You are just absolutely going to get obliterated by some sort of predator. I'm not sure what's happening with the bait fish when they're doing this. Oftentimes there's only a few of them, one or two or three together when this is happening, but you'll just see that very telltale V, that wake V going right through the surface of the water and that is where a soft jerk bait and just dragging across the top with little to no action can be a super dynamite technique. This isn't something that I'm going to do all day long. It's when I see this happening. Make several casts into that area and just wake the soft jerk bait slowly right to the top and see what happens and most often those bites will just be a slurp from underneath you'll just all of a sudden you're going to feel weight and that lure is just going to get pulled down so always mix in that type of a retrieve into your others number two is when you are using that fleeing bait fish presentation make sure that you're using extremely fast bursts that are not overly long. Now let me try to clear that up. So if you're watching minnows or watching shad out there and they're getting busted up on the surface, they will absolutely fly, just really skip across the water, but only for a few feet and then they get back submerged and then they may do this again. So as you're skipping that soft jerk bait across the surface of the water, really pop that rod, cause lots of commotion for you know three or four feet, let it pause and then do the same thing and let it pause. And I have literally on this lake and other lakes around the country watched bass rifle out of either shoreline cover or from the depths, a, a lot like a missile coming out of a submarine and just pound that soft jerk bait skipping across the top like that. That fleeing bait fish action triggers that feeding instinct. But the real key is we don't wanna do it 30, 40 feet in a row we want to have short, quick bursts. Number three has to deal with hook size. And this really surprised me the first time I watched it on video. A lot of us will use a four or five aught hook on our soft jerk baits for our fluke fishing. Been the standard for many, many years. But when you downsize that hook a little bit, let's say to a three aught like I did here in this video, all of a sudden, depending on the body style of the soft jerk bait that you are using, you're going to get a much different sink. You could go from a vertical sink on that heavier hook, that 5 out hook, or a vertical spiral with your soft jerk bait, to all of a sudden, you're getting a gliding action that goes over a distance and the bite can be very different from one day to the next. Now, if I'm targeting very specific targets, let's say trying to fish this around docks, for example, and I pause it, then I'm gonna go ahead and I want that more vertical sink. But if I'm fishing over something, let's say like vegetation or the length of a laydown, then having that glide can make a big difference in how quickly it gets through the water column. So I'm not saying that one is any better or more productive than the other, but what I wanna make sure that you do as an angler is mix it up. Don't forget that you can have a, a vertical sink and then a gliding action, all based off of how heavy a hook that you're using. And depending on the day, it can make quite a difference, a significant impact on which one the bass prefer. And number four is lure size. And the five inch soft jerk bait, five inch fluke, is one that most of us have tied on all the time. But don't forget to mix in that smaller one, that three and a half inch size, for example, or even a four inch. Go ahead and have one of those tied up as well or some with you as you're walking down the shoreline. And, and give that a shot, especially if you're not getting the bites that you think you should, or maybe getting some, you know, a swing and a miss out there. They're interested, but don't really take it. Well, you may want to downsize your offering to something that matches what's in the water column a little more closely. And if you'd like to watch a video that shows a bass behavior that I had not 
seen before. Go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.